A game called Fortnite has taken the gaming community by storm, while 20 million players around the world are playing it. It has grown to be the most popular game in the world. In the game Fortnite, there is a mode called Save the World, where there's a zombie apocalypse and you and four other people, co-op or real, have to play to survive against the zombie apocalypse. But be careful, this game mode costs $40, but the actual game itself, if you buy Xbox Live for $60, is free. The next mode in Fortnite is called Battle Royale. It's 100 people versus each other. Last one standing wins. It is the most popular game mode inside of Fortnite, and it is free. The next and final mode inside of Fortnite is called 50v50. It's 50 players versus 50. You have to take a circle and the last team standing wins. It is also free along with the game. So go ahead and get Fortnite. You won't regret it. Brian, reporting live from Rensier Elementary Schools. Do you like Fortnite? And if you do, you probably know about Season 4. Season 4 introduces us into many things, like a new place and a new item that you can use. One of the new things out of Fortnite are these pu purple shards. What these do, these make you jump higher, jump farther when you jump, and also make you feel more loose. Also, Fortnite added this new, this new place called Dusty Divot. This place used to be Dusty Depot, but now it's Dusty Divot. It has more of a fu futuristic look to it. You can find the shards here too. Fortnite added new skins which you which you can get all of them in the new battle pass they also added gliders and new pickaxes fortnite also added a new game mode what you can do in this game mode you go into a battle royale game but it has a little twist into it instead of playing your typical battle royale game you have to you have to find a gauntlet the gauntlet is spotted around the map randomly. It shows a gold glow to it, so you know where it is. And if you look at the map, it shows an image of it. Of it. When you, if you get the gauntlet, you th you turn into Thanos. If you don't know what who Thanos Thanos is, he's is from Infinity War. Then when you get it, you can jump high, blast people with lasers, and punch people. And also, you get one eight hundred health and two hundred shield. Hope you like this article. Thank you for tuning in. Christian, com coming live from Rensselaer, Indiana. Tyler says that he's making $500,000 a month. Ninja, Tyler, Twitch streamer, says that he's mostly making his money from Twitch donations and his 5 million subscribers on YouTube. Tyler says that he offers a combination of off tier games that other game creators don't get a lot of. Tyler Babbins says, I'm very goofy and do impressions and other crazy things. He first said it to a Forbes contributor. He was making 500k a month on Twitch. The fact that Fortnite is free and is on every platform and how friendly it is, Fortnite is hitting every mark, said Tyler. Fortnite is the phenomenon attracting rappers and top Twitch streamers. Because of Fortnite's popularity and Ninja's funny humor, this is how Ninja is able to make money per month. On March 27, 2018, in Germany, Jeremy's Festo started working on a robotic flying fox bat. Festo did this because they were trying to gather up more information about how they move while they're flying or other motion-able body parts that the bats use to get around. They also made a robotic somersaulting spider to also gather information about how they move through tough sand cliffs and other trains. They finished making the robotic somersaulting spider and the flying fox bat on April 19, 2018. Have you ever wondered if there is a robotic fish? Well, I bet you didn't. Let's get to learn about the robotic fish. This is the first robotic fish ever made in history. The fish's name is named Sophie. She was made to discover the undersea secrets and creatures. Her tail is very flexible and can perfectly flick her tail from side to side and she has two fins. She is made of silicone, rubber, and from flexible plastic. 
Sophie even has a camera in her head to record videos. She can see many things like people, fish, and plants. She can also hear perfectly. She can stay in the ocean for about 40 minutes. This robotic fish will break all records. Stay tuned in for more. Have you ever wondered how birds know where they're going when they migrate? Well, they don't know where they're going, but with Conor Conrad Lorenz's invention, he can lead them to safety. First, Conrad starts by raising wild geese. Then he teaches them to live and be safe. Lastly, he takes them out with his machine so they can migrate. Conrad knew he wanted to help geese in 1995 when the number of geese was dropping in Sweden. Conrad is 58 years old and he was born in Lapland, Sweden. Conrad's invention also protected them from bird hunters as well. Conrad mainly searches for endangered species of geese, but he will not leave a goose alone. Isn't it just amazing how one person could save so many geese with just one machine? Angel recording live from Van Rensselaer. There is this new car called uh, the Bugatti Chiron. This new car is really cool. This new car is cost is three million and twenty six thousand dollars. It's really expensive. This car has technology of eight pistons in the engine that's really fast. It's one of the fastest cars in the world. This car can go 100 kilometers in two seconds and a half. This car is really fast. The body was first made in March 1st, 2016. It goes 267 miles per hour. This car got made for the new brand for the company of the Bugattis. They made this car for the brand of the Bugattis. Jacob reporting from Rensselaer Schools. Today we are talking about the video game Mars Mars, which is suitable for most electric devices. The goal of the game is to keep moving forward to different platforms. There are many levels. The controls take time to master, but they seem simple. If you want to go left, you hold right. You do not want to land too hard or you will crash. Black holes, trees, and other obstacles try to stop you from reaching your goal. This game could be really difficult because it requires skills to land the astronaut on the platform. Hope you choose to play this game, Mars Mars. It teaches you how to use strategy. This is Ava reporting live from Van Elementary School. Did you know that there are such things that dogs can smell stomach cancer? How this works is the owner will put the cancer on the pallet. Then the dog will come in and smell all the pallets. When the dog smells all the pallets, he will sit by the one when he knows it. Half the time, the dog will pick the right pallet. This is really helpful for people that have cancer. They can their dogs can just smell it and then notice something's wrong because their da dog will act strange. So this is really helpful. Dogs do get trained to smell stomach cancer, but the most help of it is their handy dandy nose. I wish I had a nose like a dog. I would be able to smell everything, dude. So now if you feel weird and your dog acts weird, then you should go to the doctor just in case. And that's all for today. Era reporting live from Van Rensselaer. Today we'll be talking about why dogs bite. So let's get started. Dogs bite because 
They could be stressed out or it's defending the part of the territory. They could also bite because they feel frightened in a way. If you take a toy away from them, they could bite or they were just born to bite. It's in their natural attitude. The dog is known for biting is a Rottweiler, American Bulldog, and a Pit Bull. They bite more than other dogs do or will. On April 25th, 2018, birds moved back to the southern states to get out of migration. But how did they not get lost on their way back home? Well, researchers believe birds have cells in their beak called iron-rich shells. These cells help birds to get into the northern states or into the southern states. Birds usually take the long ways to get to their different states. That's when the birds use their iron cells in their beaks to help them to either get back home or to the migration states. Today, many birds are either back to their southern states or on their way because summer is right around the corner. There exists a parasite that can turn ants into zombies and can make it do its bidding. It may sound like something from a horror movie, but it's real. That is exactly what the zombie ant fungus does to its enemies. It is a new study that has been discovered that the fungus infects the ant's brain. It does this cruel act without messing up the ant's brain. This is found in tropical countries such as Brazil and Thailand. This zombie ant fungus begins with sucking the infected insect of all its nutrients and then it uses the infected infected insect's brain. It uses the infected insect to find leaves or twigs about 25 centimeters above the ground. It needs to be the right temperature and humidity for the fungus to thrive. When it finally finds its location, it must clamp its mandibles to the underside of the leaf or twig until the insect dies and within four or ten days a parasite comes out of a stalk from the ant's head and releases spores on the ground so that it will cause another ant to be part of it and repeat the cycle. While the parasite is doing its merciless act, its operation has been documented by scientists and mechanics of how it colonizes the ants still remain a mystery. On April 30th, 2018, in California, a fire rainbow occurred over Pinnacle National Park. The fire rainbow happens when the sun is higher than 58 degrees in the sky for it to occur. It happens every summer anywhere in California. Many people call it a halo, called a circumhorizontal arc. It all started when a runner found the stunning fire rainbow in the sky. Later, he described it as a halo of rainbow colors coming together with a single cloud in the sky. Researchers believe this has nothing to do with the rainbow or has anything to do with the big fire that happened in California. Today, many people are still amazed about the fire rainbow that happened above the park. A British man draws amazing city sketches all from memory and the drawings are extremely accurate. His name is Stephen Winnelshire, but people call him the human camera. He takes helicopter rides around the city for 20 minutes and remembers the spot he wants to draw. Then he gets a huge piece of paper and sketches the view. These drawings only take him about three days to finish. Some of his work include skylines of Rome, the Empire State Building, and the Chrysler Building. He had to struggle in his younger days because he was diagnosed with autism. He has overcome lots of obstacles to get where he is now. He sold his first painting when he was seven. The human camera loves his job because he gets to meet lots of people, and he likes to see people smile. Emily reporting live from Van Rensselaer Elementary School. On February 28, 2018, in Oklahoma Elementary School, they decided to put bullet and weatherproof shelters in some classrooms. They have tested the shelters to make sure that they are actually bulletproof. There was actual people inside the shelters while they made sure it was actually bulletproof. They are working on bringing them to the town's high schools. The shelters hold up to 35 students and two teachers. The shelter is not so big, so it won't take up too much space in your classroom. 
questions I have are, what if the person who is shooting shoots at the same spot will the bullet go through? How much do they cost? Are these shelters going to be available to buy for other schools? Is there going to be a certain amount available? All those shootings around the country, I think this would be a great thing to have just in case this happened in your school. The elephant bird egg is the largest egg laid by any vertebrate. Even dinosaurs do not lay bigger eggs. So how this real egg passed off as a model for 80 years is a mystery. The Buffalo Museum of Science had the rare egg for 80 years until the museum owner found it in a closet inside a box labeled model. After discovering the box, the owner named Langell thought it was the real deal, so she took it out of the box and discovered it was 24 inches long, had a circumference of 24 inches, was a cream color, and it was 3 pounds, just like the real thing. Just to be sure, she turned the egg into experts at Buffalo State, who confirmed that it was real. After proving this rare egg, they showcased it and made sure everyone knew it was real. Although the egg found at the museum isn't as big as the adult, it is still very rare. There are only 40 on Earth that once had an elephant bird inside. Other, other museums made very gracious offers for the egg. But the museum owner did not want to get rid of the egg. In fact, she wanted to keep it and showcase it in her own museum.